What's going on everybody out there on the internet? My name is Dovik and welcome back to more Star Wars The Old Republic Knights of the Fallen Empire Light Side Edition. Last time we left off we completed chapter 1 and we're about to begin chapter 2. All I gotta do is hit space and then we'll go into a cutscene and start it. So let's do that. You won't control me again. I'm stronger than I was back then. Yes, I feel it. You are much more than merely a Jedi. You have earned my respect. I followed you here so we might speak undisturbed. You're not the same Emperor I fought on Droman Kars or Zyos. Everything changes. You. Most of all, your true believers, you gave their lives purpose and meaning. A lost soldier, a mechanical servant, a doubting Jedi. The broken healer. And the unrepentant traitor. They were useful when you did not know yourself. But now, you are complete. Even a powerful Jedi is better when they have allies they can count on. Yours already forget you. You want to isolate me. It won't work. Each day they drift further out of reach, without a center to hold, without us, the galaxy, and all within it spiral into chaos. What's happening to me? The carbon freezing was imperfect. Your body is poisoned. Dying, old foes have come to take your life. I'm not afraid. None of this is real. Illusions can kill. If you want to live, you must fight. Well, I guess since I'm given no choice, I... Ah, oh, great. These guys. Oh, whoa. I didn't even know I had that ability. That's a really cool ability. Really awesome ability. It's too bad, though, because um, when you make a level 60 character, you can't, like, do any of the companion romances or anything. Because with this character, I would have done a Kira Carson romance, and then that entire conversation uh, would have actually been a little bit different. Oh, gosh, okay. Something's up with my mouse. Like, every now and then, it takes, like, three or four clicks to get things working, so... Ah, uh, I just hope I don't run into that issue here. Because it is quite the annoying issue. Right, here we go. Throw the lightsabers! Take out the Sky Troopers. That's the plan here, at least. But yeah, no. I mean, because I think the only person you can romance is Koth or Lana. Um, let me edit that out, probably. I don't know. That might have been a spoiler. Um, but you can romance people in this, obviously, in the future. And I don't, I don't know if I want to do any of those romances. You no. Know? I mean, I'm sure they're cool and all. Probably the only ones that they'll that will have or that will be added on to. Quite frankly, I don't know. I'm not sure. I know this character is not gonna romance Lana, cause she's kind of a Sith and really dark sided, but at the same time light sided. Oh, we're almost level 64. Of course. And there's the Sky Trooper. All oh, these sky troopers always in the way. Why do you guys always have to persist in getting into my plans and stunting my survival? I don't know. That's what they're trying to do, right? That's the logical. <laughs> that's the logical idea. Is that they're trying to stunt your survival? Oh, hey, it's the ship. I don't know the name of the ship because I never really. I, I didn't pay too much attention to the Jedi class, but 
Um, I've only played through it, like, entirely once. Oh, and you know what? Some people were wondering if I'm still going to continue the, um, the playthrough I am doing of the Jedi Knight. And yes, I absolutely am. I just wanted to do a light side playthrough of Kothi and a dark side playthrough of Kothi. And I already did the dark side, so it's time for the light side. I didn't want to really wait too long for it before Kothi completely lost its relevance, you know? That was really the mindset here. And so if you were worried that I'm not going to continue with Ashonta and stuff, then you're insane. You're insane, you hear that? You're all insane. Don't worry, no, like seriously though. It's gonna continue, don't worry about it. Visions from my past, Darth Angrel and Lord Tarnas. Ah, that's right. Actually, let's start with, okay, we're doing the whole clicking problem now, are we? Stupid computer, what is going on with that? I'm gonna search that up, I'm gonna Google search that. Uh, hope it doesn't mean I get a virus, cause that would suck. Or maybe it's just my mouse is broken or something. Good thing I got a replacement mouse. <laughs> Good thing. I just wish I had a more silent mouse. That way you wouldn't hear me clicking all the time. Because that's got to be annoying. You know? Just to hear the... Every now and then, you know? Oh, God, that... It's got to suck. I feel bad for you guys. And I can't really edit that out for whatever reason. Like, it just doesn't get edited out. Whatever. Oh. Oh, no. You spend your life walking the Jedi path. This is where it led. Was it worth the journey? The way of the Jedi is not about reward or regret. And I haven't lost my companions yet. <laughs> your Republic will not save you, Jedi. It is a cradle of corruption. I never understood how you could serve politicians. I defend peace and justice, protect the innocent from harm. And they squander your sacrifice. Why continue to help? What do you hope to achieve? It's never been about me. Perhaps it should be. There is greatness in you that cannot be denied. You are a far superior leader to any Chancellor. I won't bother explaining democracy to a Sith. I am no Sith, and democracy is overrated. This Republic is not worth saving any more than my Empire. We have a greater purpose. If you think we're joining forces, you're insane. Am I? You failed to defend their home. They will not forgive you. I only fail when fear controls me. Republic. Empire. The Eternal Throne conquers all. You cannot stop it. Save yourself. Uh, n wait, no, 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 no. I'm not... Oh, guess I'm fighting you guys, okay. I didn't want to. You guys are the ones who attacked me. Oh, this looks a lot different. Because this is Coruscant, not the Droban Kass version. Okay, that makes sense. Ooh, and I hit level 64. We're one level away. Just one level away from hitting... Level 65, level cap. Too bad you don't get, like, any abilities or anything. Yeah, no abilities. Hmm. I kind of wish they added more abilities, you know? I mean, sure, like, I don't need to have all of these unfilled spaces. I could put, like, other things there, but... I don't know. I want more attack abilities. Assault abilities, because that's kind of the, the way my character gets. Also, hold on. I have this lightsaber. Which is probably eh, it's a little bit better than what I have currently. What is this guy doing? Kind of wish I had force push. Oh boy. Then he'd just like fall off the edge and I'd be done with him. But now, um, I don't know. What was I saying? Oh yeah, that's right. I, I don't know. I like the look of these lightsabers better with this character. I don't know why. 
And now, do a little introspection. I hate having to fight these Republic soldiers. There's no way they would turn on me like that. Unless this is Order 66, but they're not clones, you know? They're, they're actual people. They're people who signed up to join the Republic. Hmm. Interesting. In Poistang. And this certainly looks a lot different than the uh, dark side version, which I can appreciate. We got Jedi trying to fight me. Are you serious? What are the Jedi doing? We're part of the same order just because I was the most powerful and I didn't necessarily survive. Doesn't mean you should turn on me. Yes, I do. So I can sell stuff to you in my dreams. That's, that's how things are working here. And that guy's planking. Midair. Midair planking. He's got it. Ah, oh, we got more Jedi to attack. Let's do Blade Blitz. Hello. My Jedi foes. Ooh. Oh, boy. Cyclone Slash. Maybe a little Leg Slash. Merciless Slash. Okay. And then... Oh, Blade Dance. Oh, God. Blade Dance is so... Different than Ravage or whatever it got changed to. I don't know what it got changed to. I don't I don't remember. I just I know it as Ravage. You know the Ravage ability from the Sith. It's the Sith Warrior version of the same ability. Because literally these guys have the same exact abilities. They just look different, they have different stories. Which I mean this one. <laughs> Someone was pointing at that out. They're all like, uh, I kinda wish you didn't do the dual wielding. I gotta say, I don't like the uh the way the Jedi Guardian holds the lightsaber, like the way this guy is holding his lightsaber. I don't like it. I just don't like the way he's holding it. I don't like the animations with the one lightsaber for these guys. I don't know. It's it's a weird thing with me. I just don't like it for one, re like one reason or another. Plus, dual wielding is like my shtick, man. I love dual wielding. Dual wielding pistols, dual wielding lightsabers. It doesn't matter, man. I like it. No, I don't want to have to fight Satil. You made me fight Darth Maul with the dark side. But you guys should go check that out. And I have to fight Satil. Is that lightning? Satil? Since when did you access Force Lightning? And again, it's not impossible for a Jedi to use Force Lightning. It's just, it takes a much larger toll on their body than it would anybody who does, or like a Sith. You know what I mean? Sorry, Satil, it has to be this way. Valkorian's producing this dream, and I have to do it. I'm sorry. No authority but your own. No obligation but to yourself. Do not be afraid. Admit how good it feels. Grandmaster Satil is the heart of the Jedi Order. I would never strike her down. You refuse to admit your truth. So be it. I mean, I probably could have just used the Force to stop that, but... Alright. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, no, I would never strike Satil down unless she was taken over by Valkorion or something. Uh, and I was forced to face her, but I would never, like, kill her. I'd fight her, and I would tire her out to the point where she couldn't continue. But I would never kill her. Because she is a nice lady. Okay? And according to Kira Carson, because if you do that romance, it's pretty funny. Apparently, Satil has a thing for your Jedi Knight character, which is pretty funny. I think that's funny. Considering she's already had a kid with Theron, and she's like, what, 62 in this? Or no, she's like in her 50s during this game. And isn't Darth Maul like 62 or something? Darth Maul 62, Satil's in her 50s. Those two would make a good couple if she didn't already have that thing going with Jace, I think his name is, Jace Malcolm or whatever? I don't know, the trooper from the trailers.
the galaxy. You killed every living being here. They died, opening my eyes to the truth. I have passed beyond death's reach. Everything dies. Even you. Our flesh is not who we are. Voices, hands, children. I no longer require those crude vessels. At long last, I am truly free. Your freedom cost millions of innocent lives. You're nothing but a monster. I am a part of you. Now more than ever, I have done all I can to preserve your life. Why would you do that? You are a part of me I wish to keep. Sorry, Valkorian, but I can't let you use- or I can't allow myself to use your power. I'm a Jedi. And quite frankly, it's just not the right way. It's not necessarily a light side choice, because it could have some really bad repercussions later on. But it is certainly not a good choice, that's for sure. It's a terrible decision. Regardless of what anybody says. Regardless! Aha! Monolith defeated. And now I just gotta go to. No, well, not destroy, but talk to Valkorion, okay. You are the only one who has ever matched my will to survive. It's not about survival. I have a war to win. No. It ended long ago. Did it now? Are you sure about that? I don't know if I can trust that. Who's that other guy? I know the Sith pure blood. The eternal throne. The new seat of power in the galaxy. You can't be. I've only been gone. Longer than you think. Zakul has surpassed my expectations. The most powerful fleet in history, and an army of guardians who use the force is more than light or dark. But my children, my children abuse their power. Real children? Not puppets enslaved to their will? Abandoning my past, let me experience pleasures and dignity. Myself before. I could no love on the cool. Who knows? Even you may find it. The only thing you love is power. I care about more than you know. We must deal with my errant son and daughter before they ruin everything. I knew you wanted something. You can't stop them alone. They are deadly and worse. Lack discipline. Do not underestimate their threat. It will take both of us to undo the damage they can inflict. Hmm. Because that's Darth Thanaton? That's not Thanaton, is it? But who's the other guy? Your daughter sees me. Verlin was always my favorite. What is it? It 
Wow. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you have not subscribed already. In the next video, we'll be starting up Chapter 3 and seeing what Lana Benico has done for us. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the playthrough, and I hope to see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.